Good night, guys. How are you today? Hi, Gilberto. Hi, David. Hi, Ada. Hi, Mr. Hobel. Hi, Ada. Hi, Eunice. Hi, Angelica. Hi, Hugo. How are you today, guys? Are you ready for the class of today? Yes. Nice. I got some beautiful stuff for you. Just give me a second, guys. I need to open just one thing. Just a second. Mm -hmm. And how was your day, guys? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Hi uh -huh, guys, I would like to listen to you. Very busy. Very busy. Busy. Repeat after me, Hugo. My day was busy. My day was busy. Was. 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 Remember? When uh, the password verb to be is was, like WhatsApp, but just was with one S. And Eunice said that it's complicated. It's, it's on the chat. What about you, Ada? It's, uh, my day was um, busy too. Busy too. What about you, Angelica? How was your day? Hello. Hello. How was your day, Angelica? Mm, I, I am sick. Oh, <laughs> really? Uh, I'm truly sorry. Uh, but do you feel okay? <clears throat> what? Do you feel okay? ¿Te sientes bien? Uh, no tanto ahorita con dolor de cuerpo y... La garganta y un poco de calentura. Eh, un poco y, cansado. ¿Y qué es lo que tienes? Pues no sé, así amanecí. Y quizás por el cansancio del trabajo también. Ya, como que mi, mis ojitos ya no aguantan. Muy bien. Eh, primero que nada, la salud. Así es que diré lo siguiente, Angélica. As an advice, please. Go to the doctor tomorrow. Uh, it could be, I guess, it could be just a flu, but it's just to be sure about that. Because also remember, we are in post pandemic and sometimes you can get COVID in some cases. But I guess it's not COVID, it's just a flu. And right now, I will teach you how do you say dolor de cabeza, dolor de cuerpo. Y dolor de garganta. Yes. Headache. <clears throat> body cake. And throw. Así se dice dolor de cuerpo, cabeza y harto agregador. And right now, guys, it's time to start the class. It's 9.05. I will show right now my screen, guys, and I will show you. Oh, it's not this, it's this. This one. Remember, guys, open your platform because right now we are working on the platform together in real time. I know you are so smart and we can finalize this as soon as possible, Miss and mi Mrs. and Mr. Okay, if you remember, in the previous class, we were talking about the WS questions, about vocabulary jobs and occupations, and the option of those. Today, we are having, uh, and 
a review of WH questions, and we will talk about adjectives. Let me know, guys, who uh, who has studied the picture that I sent in, I sent to you today. ¿Quién estudió las imágenes que se enviaron el día de ahora? Yes, teacher. Perfect, thank you. Okay, thank you, David. Right now, uh, I will play a video about how to use WH question using the simple present sentence and songs so naturally. Just a second, guys. I need to share the sound. Hi, everyone. In this class, Escuchan. as you learn to form yes. W. Cool. Yes. Which questions? Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled, He Works in a Hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there, too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple present questions. Let's analyze the examples on the chart. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They're waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. In order to form simple present WH questions, we will follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus complement. It's also important to remember the following. Whenever we talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they, we will use the auxiliary verb do. Whenever we talk about the pronouns he, she, and it, we will use the auxiliary verb does. So let's try to make sense of the first example on the chart. Where do you work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Then we have the auxiliary verb do. After that, we have the subject. Finally, we have the verb work. Let's analyze one more example. Where does he work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Uh, then we have the auxiliary verb does. After that, we have the subject, he. Finally, we have the verb work. Now, it's your turn to practice making as many questions as possible. Think of your friends, family, and co-workers and their jobs. You need to make questions and answers, just like the examples we saw in this lesson. After you finish this task, make sure that you share your work in our discussion forums. Muy bien, guys. Before to continue, I would like to ask you something. I remember someone yesterday asked me to clarify <clears throat> the WH questions. To be specific, the question of how. Do you remember? Okay, chicos, el día de ayer, uno de ustedes me preguntó 
sobre how. El día de ahora envié yo una imagen. Eh, permítame un momento, intentaré poder pon, presentarles nuevamente la imagen que les he enviado. Solo permítame un momento, aquí está. Permítanme que no, no, no quiere. Ahí está. Ok. Again. I will show you this picture in order to explain a little bit more about how. How much it's for uncountable nouns and also to know cuánto cuesta. How many is for countable nouns. For example, how many there are in the school. How often is for frequency of an action. For example, how often do you go to the gym? How far to express distance? How far is Angelica house to Hugo's house? This is an example. How long? It's about length or durations. How, how long does it take it be here? Cuánto toma venir aquí? It takes me around two hours or three hours on bus. Or it takes me 15 minutes driving my motorcycle. Or sorry, driving my car or riding my motorcycle. Pregunto, sean honestos, ¿ha quedado claro lo de how, how much, how many, how often, how far, and how long? Yes, teacher. ¿Y los demás? Yes, yo solo yes, creo teacher. que tenemos que practicarlo bastante. Y es lo que haremos ahora. <laughs> Eso vamos a hacer ahora. Hoy tenemos una actividad. Y la actividad va a ser la siguiente. Les brindaré a ustedes y pondré, eh, compartiré las WH Word right now. ¿Las pueden ver? Puede ser chiquito esto. Vale. Estas son las WH Word. Voy a necesitar que cada uno haga tres preguntas usando estas WH Word. Solo esta. No vamos a ocupar la del How Often para no crear tanta confusión. ¿En the, in the chat? No. Ahorita... Si pueden hacer un blog de notas en su computadora, háganlo ahí. Si no tienen un blog de notas en un papel, escríbanlo. Y después de esos, les voy a dar cinco minutos. Después de los cinco minutos, vamos a comenzar a hacer esas preguntas entre nosotros. Los cinco minutos comienzan. Ya.
Remember guys, just three questions. Eh, perfecto, puedes retirarte, pero por favor, como, eh, bueno, la persona que escribió el chat y no se siente bien puede retirarse, solo como adición, por favor, vaya al doctor. Eh, recuerde, la salud es primero, así que eso y por favor intente avanzar en la plataforma, señor o señorita, intente avanzar lo más que pueda. Okay, guys, just one minute more. Okay, guys, are you ready for this practice? Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, and we will start with this. I will ask to you, the first person who, who will be asking will be Ada, will ask to Eunice, your three questions. Okay. Hey, hi, Eunice. Eunice, are you there? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Perfect. Hi. If you need Ita. help ah, or something to answer, Ita. go ahead, Eunice. Me estaba saludando a Ada. <laughs> Lo siento. Muy bien, si necesitan ayuda o necesitan ayuda para pronunciar algo o estructurarlo, no se preocupen, entre todos vamos a apoyarnos. Continúe. Ok. Ok. Hi, Eunice. Uh, what is your favorite color? Hi, Ada. My favorite color is the green. Okay, uh, who is your favorite singer? Um, my favorite singer is Joaquin Sabina, quizás. <laughs> um, how, did, how do you like to eat a uh, pizza? Esa no la entendí. <laughs> how do you like it? it? How do you like it your pizza? ¿Cómo te gusta comer la pizza? Se podría decir. Pero pregunto a Aida, ¿qué le querías preguntar con esa pregunta? Con la última. Hola. ¿Qué le, quisiste hacer, ¿Qué le quisiste preguntar con la última pregunta? Ah, la verdad. Es, eh, ¿Cómo te gusta comer la pizza? Oh, sería, perdón, el pollo. How do you like to eat the chicken? Ah, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I love the pizza. Y sobre todo si tiene pineapple. Pero, oh, okay. bueno. Cuando ella te pregunta, how do you like to eat the chicken? ¿Cómo te gusta comer el pollo? Ah, oh, el pollo. No sé cómo se dice asado. Roast. ¿Y horneado? <laughs> Baker. Bacon. Ok. 
Baker. Okay, nice. Here we go. Right now, it's your turn, Eunice. You will, uh, hey, congratulations. You did a great job, Ada. You made a beautiful structure on your question. At the same of you, Eunice, I love your answers. Right now, it's your turn, Eunice, to ask. And you will ask to Gilberto Jovel. Gilberto, are you there? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, it's your turn, Eunice. Start when you will be ready. When you will okay. be ready. Hi, Gilberto. Hi. How many friends do you have? How many friends? Uh, how many? Uh, I many much friends. Mm. No. The, la respuesta sería, or the structure of that question, of that answer will be, I, repeat after me, Gilberto, I, I have, I have many friends. Many friends. Okay. I have many friends. Your second question, Anise? Okay. Uh, you say how often? <laughs> Go ahead. You are free to do it. How often do you go to the park? I I go to the park uh, never. Um no. The structure in the I case. never I never go to the park. Yeah. You are doing great, Jovel. You are doing great. And it's a nice question, Eunice. Next one. <laughs> okay, finally. What is your favorite beach? Beach, perdón, beach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. My favorite beach is the Tunco. The Tunco beach. The Tunco, the Tunco. beach, it's my favorite beach. Oh, my mm. favorite beach is the Tunco beach. Okay. Congratulations, I like it. Hey, I like the three questions and also I like that you use how how often and you Gilberto, I like the way that you answer the all the questions and especially the two and number three. You did a great job. Right now is your turn to ask in Gilberto and you will be asking to David. David, are you there? Yes. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Go ahead, Gilberto. Hi, David. Hi. Where did you work? Where? Um, I work in San Salvador. Okay. Le preguntó, paréntesis. Gilberto, le preguntaste what or where? What do you work? Oh, um, um, I'm not working now. I am student. Okay. Uh, where do you Where do you live? I live in Sayapango. Okay. How do you go? Hmm? How do you go to the to the school? I take a bus to the school, to the university, college. You are making me so happy, guys. <laughs> I love, I love those questions and answers. Believe me, because you are using the vocabulary that we learned the last week, and I love it. Believe me. The only thing it's... Uh, the first answer, David, try to be, uh, try to have active listening, pay attention, and what, where, sounds totally different. What, where, remember that. 
but you did a great job. I love your answer. And also, Jovel, you are doing a great job. It's your time, David. Are you ready for uh, made the questions? Yes. Okay. You will be asking to Mario. Mario, are you ready to answer those questions? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead, David, start. Perfect. Uh, Mario, uh, where do you go on vacation? Uh, on, my, on vacation, I usually go to, to the mountain or to the park. Mm -hmm. Nice, next one. Okay, uh, Mario, what do you think about the soccer? Uh, well, I like play soccer, but I don't like see the 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 play games. Great. Uh, and how often do you go to the church? I well. I I have a long time. I don't go to the to the church. Um, I can help into you with that, Mario. You can say something. If you don't remember how many times you go to the church, you can say, I go to the church twice a year. Okay. Es como un número largo es como que le digas hey solo voy dos veces al, al año y si él te pregunta really uh, it could be more or it could be less it depends of the year okay teacher thanks you're welcome but i love the way that you are asking. also mario i love your questions uh good good questions okay okay uh... right now uh, it's time to uh, um Mario is answered those questions, right? It's yes, turn, yes. It's to turn to ask him to Angelica. Are you ready for those questions? Yes. Okay. Okay, Mario, go ahead. Okay. Uh, hi, Angelica. Uh, what do hi. you do in your free time? And in my right time, I like to uh, ex exercise. Work out. Work uh, no, eso out. Eso significa Work. Hacer, hacer ejercicio. Repeat after oh. me, Angelica. Okay. In my free time. In my free time. I love to work out. I work to love. I love. I love. To. To. Work. Work. Out. Out. Okay. So again, in my free time. I love. Oh. I love to work out. I love to work out. I, I love, love to, to I love to work out. That's right. Work out okay. means hacer pesas, spinning, all yes. those things. Okay, next question. Okay. Uh, when do you go to the university or or to the work? ¿Qué? Un momento, ¿qué le quieres preguntar? Le, le quería consultar que, qué días iba a la universidad. Yo le había mm. construido la, la pregunta como si iba a la universidad, pero no lo uh, sé. Mm. Entonces había puesto, when do you go to the university? Mm. Pero ahí estarías preguntando cuándo vas a la, a la universidad. Pero si quieres saber qué días va a la universidad, o en este caso trabajar, la pregunta sería... What are the days that you mm. go to the work? Okay. Okay. What are the days that you go to work, Angelica? Mm, ya no voy a la U. No sé cómo se dice. 
Uh, mm, I'm not a student. I'm not a student. Oh, uh, ya salí de la U. Podría decir. I can, I can. I don't, I don't go to the university anymore. Ya no voy a la universidad más. I don't go to Come. the university. I do not. Te lo voy a escribir en el chat. I do not. Go to the university. Okay. I do not go to the university anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Next and one. the last is, who do you live with? You. Uh, I live with my parents and my brother. Nice. I like the way that you made those questions, Mario. You are doing a great job. The only mistake was on when. But remember, everybody make mistakes. Everybody. And as someone says, Nos caemos para aprender a levantarnos. Recuerden eso. Ahora bien, your turn, Angelica. Are you ready for the questions? To make questions? Okay. Okay, Gilberto, Alexander. Are you ready for answer those questions? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Angelica. Okay. Hi, good evening. And what is your favorite sport? Uh, what? What's my your favorite? Fa mm -hmm. What's your favorite sport? Uh, lo cortado? What is your favorite sport? Uh, football. M my? My favorite sport. My favorite sport is football. Soccer. In this kind of case, it's soccer. Uh, remember? Uh, soccer. When, yes. Remember when you are talking with American people, if you said football, it's not soccer. Football, it's something like that. It's running with a helmet and a balloon. It's not, it's not a ball. The balloon is totally different. OK. I, my favorite the, uh, sport is soccer. Okay, next question. Okay. Uh, where do you live now? Uh, repeat that, please. Where do you live now? That's right. I live in Sonsonate. I live in Sonsonate. Okay. Next one. Uh, how old are you? I find. No. No. Oh. How, how old are you? Uh, ah. La edad. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I am uh, 22. I am 22. Old year. Years old. Mm, years old. Okay. Again. I am uh -huh. 22 years old. Okay. Gilberto, you. you're welcome. Hey, I like your question. Good question, Angelica. Uh, just an observation. Practice mention where. Where. Remember the pronunciation of where is almost the same of the past of verb to be in plurals. Where. 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 Where do you live? Where do you work? Where is the church? Where is the supermarket? Where is the school? Okay. Repeat. Okay, and what about you, Gilberto? You did a great job. Just practice a little bit more. And remember, we made mistakes. Are you ready to make questions, Gilberto? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, you make question to Hugo. Are you ready to answer those questions, Hugo? 
<clears throat> Hugo, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Go ahead, Gilberto. Hi, it's your Hugo. Turn. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you what, what do you do? Mm. What do oh. you do where, when? Okay, remember. ¿Qué le, pregun qué, qué le quieres preguntar? Eh, ¿En qué trabajas? Where do you work? Oh, what do you work? Remember this. You do, eh, tú estabas haciendo una, una, una question incompleta porque solo agregas el doble H word, el auxiliar y el sujeto. Cuando vamos a preguntar algo, siempre tiene que ir el verbo también. Recuerda, es doble question, auxiliar, sujeto y verbo. Y obviamente, pues aquí no lo ves, pero es el question mark o antes del question mark un complemento. Pero pregúntale otra vez, por favor. What do you work? I... I work, I drive a truck. Oh, podría decir, I am a driver truck. I am a driver truck. Okay, next question. Where do you live? I am live in Santo Domingo, San Vicente. Next questions. Where do you eat lunch? Uh, excuse me. Where, Where do, do you, you eat lunch? Um, I lunch in the, hey, ¿cómo se dice este? Cafetería. Uh -huh. Cafeteria. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, but let me tell you something. Okay, Gilberto. Tu, a tu pregunta le falta algo. Tu pregunta le estás haciendo, where do you eat lunch? You can say, where do you eat for lunch? ¿Dónde comes para? ¿Dónde? ¿En dónde vas a comer? ¿O dónde sueles comer? Where do you eat for lunch? O where do you eat your lunch? ¿Dónde comes tu almuerzo? Remember that. But you, doing, you are doing a great job. Again, I will send it to you this picture tomorrow. And we will continue practicing. But right now is the time of Hugo. Hugo, are you ready to make questions? Yes, teacher. Okay. I'm ready to answer your questions, Hugo. Ask me. ¿A usted? Sí, claro. Uh, where does... Sorry, sorry. Where does he live? Who? Who? O sea, no, aquí, vaya, me preguntaste dónde él vive, pero quién. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. eh, you. No, me dijiste él, pero no sé a cuál él te referís. En vez de poner he, podría decir mi nombre. Porque okay. ahorita son las preguntas, ¿dónde vive él? Y pues hay un montón de él aquí en, en la clase. Entonces sería who does no where he, does where, where does he live teacher mm, podría mm. decirlo where the teacher lives where the teacher lives ah the teacher lives in, Live. en la libertad ok pero recuerda algo Ahí lo que me estás preguntando, me estás preguntando por una tercera persona, Hugo. 
Un ejemplo puede ser Where does Mario live? ¿Dónde vive Mario? Where does Angelica live? Where does Gilberto live? Acuérdate que el das es para terceras personas. Estamos hablando de terceros. Pero si vos me querés preguntar a mí, ¿dónde vivo? Es, where do you live? Where do you live? Okay. Pregúntame nuevamente. Si me vas a preguntar eso, eso me gustó. La tercera, la que hayas preguntado en tercera persona estuvo bien. Bueno, siguiente pregunta. Ok. When, when is your birthday? Birthday. Ah. birthday. When is your birth, birth? birthday? Birthday, uh, yeah. My birthday is on July 30th. Next question. Okay. Where does, where does, uh, come on, uh, sorry, where does go for his holiday? I'll see it. No. Está, vamos, te voy a ayudar. Yo sé qué es lo que me quieres preguntar, pero te voy a hacer esta pregunta. ¿Me lo quieres preguntar a mí o me quieres preguntar sobre alguien más? You. Va. Ok. Can you see the mouse or the pointer on the screen? Bueno, te lo voy a ir subrayando. O te lo voy a ir poniendo en cuadritos. First of all, you will use where then repeat uh, ok Hugo cuando mires el cuadro rojo repetí la frase que está dentro del cuadro rojo ok where do you live ahora léelo de corrido where do you live holiday oh, ah sorry Perdón, perdón. Where do you go? Where do you go? For holiday. For holiday. De corrido. Where do you go for holiday? Uh, well, I went to Chaparrastique Volcano. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate so much your participation in this. Okay, Hugo, you are doing very well. I love that you are open to participate in the class and that's amazing. I love it. Pero si tienes un poquito de, de confusión en do and does. Te pregunto, Hugo. Yes, teacher. ¿Para qué ocupamos el das? Cuando estamos hablando de quién. Eh, tercera persona exacto y si vos me querés preguntar algo a mí si me estás preguntando a mí o de un tercero ok, es el das no, el bueno do, va el do, el do, el do. exacto recordá que das es para esta persona espérame recordá que das es solo para ellos si vos me vas a preguntar sobre alguien más está bien y algo que me gustó, Hugo, que vos me, me hicieras una pregunta en, para una tercera persona. Let me make question for you. L déjenme hacerle una pregunta a cada uno random. Solo voy a hacer tres porque no tenemos mucho tiempo. Ok. Hugo. Yes, teacher. Eh, Let me ask him to where where Gilberto no where does Gilberto live or live where does Gilberto live in 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 San Sonate. That's right. Si te fijas, where does Gilberto lives? I will es place a square. Es la persona. Yes, where. Does instead he I use a name? Why? Because I am asking to you for a specific person. If we are talking about a specific person, you can ask me, hey, uh, where does he live? Ah, he lives in Sansonate. 
y ocup, o, omití el he por un nombre. Y ocupé live. Right now, Angélica. Uh, what uh, what does Eunice eat the chicken? Mm, no recuerdo qué dijo. <risas> inventate algo, inventate algo, pero solo quiero que me estructures la respuesta en tercera persona. Mm, eh, do she like uh, uh, the hamburger? No. no. Acord Mira lo que se está preguntando. Es la misma pregunta que tú le hiciste a Unice. O que Unice te hizo. Sí, la misma que tú le hiciste a Unice. Le preguntaste no, no que cómo le gustaba comer la pizza. Ah, no, perdón. Ada fue la que le preguntó eso. Ada le preguntó a Eunice cómo le gustaba comer su pollo. Yo te pregunto lo mismo. Pero en vez de ocupar o decirte la voz, se lo estoy preguntando a vos que cómo le gusta a Eunice comer el pollo. Pero ¿cómo wow. la puedo estructurar para empezar? Bueno, si te estoy preguntando sobre una tercera persona, ¿Sí? obviamente va a ser el sujeto, va a ser la tercera persona, ¿correcto? Ajá, sí, pero para empezar o solamente she, she No, like. vamos a ocupar el nombre, vamos a omitir she por el nombre, ah. por el, porque yo te pregunté, en este she vamos a ocupar Eunice, Eunice, uh -huh. vamos a darle rojito, Eunice likes, Eunice like to... likes to, acuérdate que como esta tercera persona lleva ese al final. Ah, ok. Aquí se le se desapareció. Tuvo pena y se fue. Eunice okay. like. Roaster Eunice chicken. Roaster chicken. Solo recuerdo que dijo como empanizado. <risa> Bye. Pero tú muy bien. Remember, when we are asking about third person, it's necessary answer the question with that third person. And my last question will be for um, a second. Jovel. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. How often let me let me use this. Oh my gosh. Yes. How often Mario goes to the shore? Oh, how often What? does Mario goes to the shore? Mm. Mm. Mario usually go to the shore. Mm. Mario goes to the shore twice a year. Mm. Uh, again, Mario. Mario. Goes. Go, goes to the shore twice a week. That's nice. Recuerden, chicos, esto es. Sí, si vamos a preguntar por tercera persona y dicen un nombre, ocupen ese nombre para responder. Ahora. Okay, yo tengo una, una pregunta. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Tiene la respuesta una estructura como tal, así como las preguntas, o uh -huh. no tiene una estructura como tal? Claro, tienen una estructura. Permitime, quiero uh -huh. ver si la agregué aquí. No. Vaya. Déjame buscar. Bueno. Tengo ese material, no puedo abrirlo ahorita porque es, estoy grabando la clase. Ahora bien, pero la estructura para poder responder o para poder dar una respuesta es Subject plus Auxiliary 
plus verb plus complement plus period. If you are writing it down. But if you are speaking with someone else, that this will be the structure. Subject, auxiliary, verb, and complement. En algunos casos, como estás preguntando, con present simple, no va a ser necesario agregar el do al momento de hacer la respuesta. Vas a ocupar la estructura de simple present, que es subject plus verb en base form plus complement. Esas son las dos, bueno, las estructuras que vas a ocupar. En algunos casos, no va a ser necesario ocupar el auxiliar. Pero eso depende del contexto. Ahora, voy a hacer una pregunta. Lástima que no se les puede dar premio porque no estamos presenciales. Pero, les voy a enseñar que una WH Word que no necesitan poner esto. O, o al menos no necesitan, perdón, no necesitan poner subject. ¿Alguien sabe cuándo no se necesita que poner subject en una pregunta de WH Questions? ¿Alguien sabe cuándo podemos omitir esto? Perdón, este. Cuando lleva un nombre personal, no. Mm, sí y no. Bueno, cuando lleva un nombre personal, nosotros podemos omitir el he, she, it. O incluso podemos omitir el they si sabemos el nombre del grupo. Un ejemplo. Eh, how often eh, the, in, how often my class Oh, how often do my class participate? Ahí estoy hablando de ustedes completo, pero estoy hablando de ellos. Pero hay una pregunta donde podemos omitir esto. Y es esta pregunta, miren, y se lo voy a poner en verdecito. Who? ¿Por qué? Porque who significa quién. Y cuando hacemos una pregunta con quién, es porque no sabemos el sujeto. I will give you some example. Who Who do the homework? Estoy ocupando el auxiliar do como un verbo. Aquí le va otra. Eh, who go to work today? ¿Quién fue a trabajar ahora? Pueden decir, me. me. I go to... Me, me, or I went to work today, or I am going to work today. Pero es cuando nosotros no sabemos el sujeto, podemos ocupar who y el verbo. It makes sense? ¿Les quedó claro eso? Yes, teacher. ¿Cuándo, ocupamos, ¿cuándo podemos omitir el sujeto? ¿En qué tipo de preguntas podemos omitir el sujeto? Cuando, cuando necesitemos hacer una pregunta como grupal. No. Nosotros omitimos el sujeto o los sujetos cuando no sabemos quién hizo la acción. Un ejemplo. Who lives in Sonsonate? Eita. Who lives in, in Sonsonate? Uh, 
me invento la respuesta. La resu <risa> bueno, la respuesta es uno de tus compañeros dijo que vivía en, tu, eh, en Sosonate, pero ¿quién? Who lives ah, in Sosonate? Okay. Decime cualquiera. Uh, uh, Angélica lives in Sosonate. Another one. Who studies the university? Gilberto, who study on the university? Uh, Gilberto Jovel. Who study at the university? I don't remember. Cualquier nombre, cualquier nombre. Inventatelo. Uh, Giovanni. Ajá. No, que... Giovanni study at the university. Teacher, tengo una pregunta. Diga. Eh, ¿Se omite también el auxiliar? Eh, depende. Porque vaya, si vos vas a preguntar esto, y querés saber si él hizo algo. Permitime, no, ahí sí me agarras en corporata. Si se omite el auxiliar. En este caso sí. Se omitiría. Sí se omite. Ok. Pero cuando estamos hablando con do or does. Pero si yo te quiero preguntar. ¿Quién puede caminar? ¿O quién puede correr? ¿O quién puede jugar? I will use do. I will use another can. auxiliar. Can. Who can okay. play soccer? Si te fijas, ocupé el auxiliar y ocupé un verbo. Uh -huh. Who can y play soccer? Uh -huh. Se utiliza el conector. Hang, eh, por ejemplo, who can to play? O solamente los verbos. El auxiliar más el verbo. El auxiliar más el verbo. Okay. Who can play soccer? Who can play the guitar? Who can study at night? Something like that. Pero para eso, para el who, les enviaré un video especial mañana. Eh, es un video muy, muy bonito que viene hablando de cómo ocupar el who en preguntas. Ahora bien, guys. Esto fue la clase de ahora. Hoy nos entretuvimos bastante dándole un review a las WH Questions. Las voy a enviar nuevamente y les voy a enviar las estructuras para las respuestas y cómo ocupar el Who. Mañana vamos a ver esto. Adjectives to be plus adjective. Vamos a hablar sobre los adjetivos descriptivos. Como he is happy. He is all. Y eso. ¿Preguntas al respecto de la clase del día de hoy? No tengan miedo de preguntar, señores. Aquí estamos para ayudarnos entre nosotros. Perfecto, señores. En ese caso, nos vemos el día de mañana. Pasen una feliz noche. Dudas o consultas al WhatsApp. Y, es, pues, espero que tengan un dulce sueño. Adiós. Bye-bye. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night.